going to start with our, with our inline CSS. Okay, remember I said, uh, let's see something. Let's go back to our uh, index, but if we have more content here. This is our home page, right? Okay, let's see, uh, this is our home page. All right, if, if you look at it now, this is our H1. All right, we can style every H1 in this page just before. Maybe with a, a single, let's say, or maybe like a, three lines of code. With three lines of code, we can style all the uh, H1 in the full software. Just with three lines of code. Are you hearing me now? Let's go. What you can do with CSS. I'm going to talk about CSS. So, I will not be talking about the word, the operators. You, okay, sorry, the selectors you in CSS. Your, the you selectors in CSS. Just put the little thing in the HTML. Just put the little thing in the HTML. Selectors in HTML. We have the then word in class selectors. We use the styling. CSS, right? CSS, the styling. So, I'm getting the CSS. We have the class right? selector. Now, before we get into the CSS, please. The class selector is denoted with a period sign like dot. Okay? It is denoted with what? A period sign. Alright? See, let's say it's going to be like class name. Let us see, class. Alright? This is my class. How oh, you can see, this is, can I say, a period, right? can you see dots there? The dots before the class. So it depends on how you apply your CSS that will give your class. user interface a beauty see? or a nasty design. Yes. Now, in using CSS, there are three ways we use CSS. There are three ways we use CSS. One of the ways is inline styling. When you do inline CSS, you make use of the style attributes. Every HTML tag has a style at, has attributes. Some attributes are one. Some attributes are I say a class using a period sign. Why so? For class, use a period sign. There are other kind of selectors. It's called the word the ID selector. The ID selector. For the ID selector, use what an hash sign. That is an hash tag. Okay. So for the ID, this is it. How you can see it? Every selector have the style attribute. So when you use style attributes for your HTML, you are actually Styling in line. <coughs> the other kind of styling is what we call the internal styling. The internal styling, you make use of the HTML tag. Sorry, of the style tag. Now, not the style attribute, but the style tag. It's not useful. You make use of the style tag. Now, the style tag. The, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the tag selector. This tag selector, what it does is that, right, we are going to be working is in what we want with the HTML tags. Are you hearing me? The tag selector, in work with the HTML tag, for example, if I want to style all the paragraph tag, I will make this of what? P. Are you getting P is what? It's an HTML tag, right? We have H1 as an HTML tag. The age of what we apply is the style to it. We have the identity selector. Okay. Then we have the uh, uh, the height selector. The set that selector. So we have these as selectors. Have these as selectors. But the tag selector it simply means you making use of the HTML tag. 
making use of HTML tag. Yes, yes. When you make use of HTML tag, yes, then yes, yes. maybe you want to start your H1 yes. all across all the pages. Yes. You make use of your H1 tag. If you want to style something as input, you make use of your input. And we also have the pseudo selector. We have the pseudo selector. We have the pseudo selector. And with the pseudo selector, you can with the pseudo selector, you can style an attribute. And you can also style some other stuff. Okay? What's up? What's up? Okay, open. Yes, I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see this from here. So, what I want to do, I want to change the background of what? Look at it. This thing started from here, right? Yes. And it ends here. Yes, I want to apply to change this guy's background color now. From this place down to this deep. Can you see it? So, let's do it. What you are going to do, you can either say background color. Or what? Just background. Are you hearing me? You can either say background color or background. So let's type background. Background. Okay. Once you type the background color, the next thing you will do is to have the color name. Are you getting the color name? It can either be orange. It can either be red. So let's say our background color now is what? Is red. Followed by a semicolon. Is there any changes? Yes. So you can see now we have we just applied a color now to the word to the background. Remember, like I said, div is what division. If you notice this thing now, the rest thing, the color did not apply to them. Do you notice? It's only the div because this section, this kind of stuff is divided now. It's divided. All right, if you look at this place, we have a lot of div here. We have post one, post two, post three, and all. So we can disable, we can apply color to this first post, another color to the second post, another color to the third post. Okay? Yes, so now, look at it. Uh, let's say if somebody is at the back and is trying to read this thing, the person will have to strain their eyes and the thing you, you, you will find it difficult to read. You will find it difficult to read. So. For us to be able to read this thing, where we are going to change the text color to what? White. White. Okay, we'll turn the text color to what? White. That is not this one, not the one on the red background, this one on the red background. we we'll turn the text color to white. So to turn the text color, you spell what? Color, as in C-O-L-O-R. C-O-L-O-R. Okay? C-O-L-O-R. Okay? Maybe color, you say white. I hope you can see it now. I hope you can see that. So, uh, as you can see now, this is this, this stuff we are doing now is called what? Inline CSS. It's called what? Inline CSS. And most times, I will say with you, it's not ideal to use inline CSS. Are you hearing me? It's not ideal to use inline. One, it's going to slow your system down. All right? It's going to, because Same when you have all, all, all the CSS in that particular place, it's going to slow your system down. Are you hearing me now? So, that is why I was like, and external CSS sometimes is very, very important. You need that. And external CSS is very, very important. So, you can see now, this is what? Uh, about the uh, EKT and all we have not done, we just use the single line to what? To style this uh, EKT or this uh, block. All right, this particular block. All right, so uh, the, the next thing you can go to this place. Maybe you want to style post one and, and the rest. The same thing, say Eli CSS, you say style. Okay, background. Like I said, you can either say background or what? Background color. Right? But most times I, I use background. All right? But when I'm using background, I can either specify if I want to use an image. Alright, are you getting that? You can't use an image or not. Okay, pardon, let's say uh, orange. Let's see. Uh, 
Okay, can you see now? Uh, I hope you can see that's the only applied to one. Post one. Alright? So now, let's go to post two now. Let's say star again. Background, say what? So I think say green. Green. I hope you can see it. I told you guys it, about the D. You can see he divided them, he's separating them. Can you see the space here? He's separating them, separating them. Alright, now let's have another color. As a style, background, cyan. Alright? I hope you can see the different colors now. So you can see with CSS, you can bring about the beauty of a system. Okay, the beauty of the system can, it can come out job with what? With your cascading style sheet. With your CSS. Alright, with your CSS. So you can apply different colors. Alright, you can apply different colors. Okay? So now, let's see something. Uh, remember, all what you have been doing is, is called the what? The inline CSS. I guess now it's called the inline CSS. Alright, but I if I want to use the internal CSS. The internal CSS. So there is the, the word the internal CSS. What I'll do, I'm going to undo these guys. So I think we are about to the normal page, right? Alright, so to, to apply the word and the internal CSS, like I said, write it inside the head tag. So you have style. Uh, oh, you can get into the style tab now. This is how you write it. Style. You can say this one uh, is a D, baby. So we need to have a class, class attribute, or a D, uh, an ID attribute. So to do that now, let's say our, uh, our class now, let's say about what? EKD. I hope you can see the class. Hey, you don't look at this place. That is a class. You use period sign. You use a period sign. So this is the class. All right. Then the class after the class, you have what the brace, the one we call the curly brace. Okay. I hope you can see the curly brace on the screen. Okay. The brace now. So I can say background. I say what red. Can you see the background color now? Red. But look at this place. This guy still remains white. You know why? We've not called the class. We've not called this EKD class. We want like remember uh, in programming they say a function is a, a, is what is a block of code that won't execute except it is called, right? The same thing with this class. If you don't call it, you won't see the word in effect. Okay, now let's add our color again. The color was what white, Abby? White. Okay, now come to this place. In it was this place we apply style, right? So all you do say class as an attribute. Can you see it? Class. Let's say class. I hope you can see it. So call this class name. Don't put the period sign. Don't say about what? EKD. E Let's see. Did it apply? Yes. I hope you can see it. So to you, which one is better? Is it the inline or the this one we are doing now? Inline. The inline is better. Well, she said uh, the line is better. Okay, like I tell you guys, the inline is, is, is not good. Okay, sometimes we use the inline CSS because sometimes you want to do something, the thing will not work. So you don't want to, maybe you want to maneuver, maybe the thing does work. Are you getting that, bit? So now, and there's another one that is even more better than this one. Alright, which is called the word, the external CSS. The external word, CSS. Okay, now, so now let's have another class. Let's say post what? Post one. Like using can make this level like this. Post one, we say background. Background, let's say uh, orange. Okay, we have another, let's say post what? Two. Background. <coughs> what? Green. So we have what? Post. Look at it. In, in this order now, I, I don't want to use a class again. I want to use an ID so you know how to use the word the, the ID. Are you getting now? So I'm going to say ID post what? Three. Post three. I say background. Background. 
cyan. Hope you can see it. But this stuff, we will declare the glass is cyan, the, the ID. But this stuff has not been what are applied. Do you know why? Because we've not called the glasses and the word the ID. So let's go to post one now. Let's say class post what? Did you apply? So let's move to post two now. Let's say class post what? Two. Okay, the last one is what? Class what? Post what? Are you getting it? Yeah, like some people do. And they are already aware of the price 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 of the
Abi, the class name. Go to your app.css. You don't have to do this guy no more, like this time and whatsoever. No. Just paste the code we already have. Take a look at the screen. Is it the same thing? Yes. Is it the same thing? Yes. But we are kind of lost. Right? We are kind of lost. Okay. Let me go over it again. I say, if you want to work with your external CSS, all right, create a file called what? Maybe uh, main.css or style.css, anyone you want to call it. All right, but me, I'm using what? App.css. Are you getting happy? App.css. So I will write my CSS code inside the word, the app.css. So after writing it, I will, I will just come to this head and I will call it. Okay, I'll come to the head and I'm going to call the word the CSS uh, link. All right, I will say link rel. Okay, I will say it's a word, it's a style sheet. I'm dealing with the style sheet here. Okay, then I'll, I said you can specify the type. The type. Okay, uh, I think they're going to call a uh, screen uh, reader kind of. Some of them, they may, they may be able to read what you are doing. But once you specify this kind of type, the screen that will be able to read it, they will be able to know kind of. Alright, so now you can say the ref, that is the location of the word of the CSS file. And the CSS file is inside this folder. Alright, it's inside, they are in the same directory, like the same level. You say app.word. App.word CSS. So you close, you remember everything you open, you have to close. Alright, so let's see now. Did they apply? <laughs> Did they apply? So this is just uh, what is it called? This is how you can make use of your word, your uh, external word, CSS. Okay, you can decide to go and research on Bootstrap. You may not want to write CSS from scratch again because writing CSS from scratch kind of is kind of petty. I guess now, nah, so somebody are writing something for you. One of them is called Bootstrap, another one is called Material Design. All your Google products you are seeing, all those your Play Store and all that, they are all products of what? Material CSS or Material Design. Okay, it's a CSM library. You can go and research on, it, research on how to use it. Okay, so uh, that is it. That is it for, uh, what is it called, the external CSS. Don't forget, I said we have different kinds of selector. Okay, now, if I want to start, uh, let's say this one now. It's called, well, look at it. We have H4. All, all our post 1, post 2, post 3, they are all what? They are all H4, right? Post 1 is H4. Post 2 is H4. Post 3 is what? H3. Oh, we need to, need to be H4. It's H4, right? Okay. Okay, so now, let's just do the, uh, the last thing. Let's just start uh, all the H4. We the task, let just say color white. Okay? So you can see all the H4 are now what? White. Okay, so I think, uh, let's say, D is just it. D is just it. If you have a question, you'll be able to ask that question later. Okay, because I'm not going to kick up now. Alright? So I think uh, that is it for now. Alright, like I said, if you have any question, you can come later and ask. Okay, you can come later and ask. Alright, thank you. Hey, Rita Zoo, 